very bouncy. feel safe getting this thing up in the top here on the street, but sure as hell gonna try. Sure as hell gonna try for you. I'm gonna let this car go. And we're gonna make our run. Pretty sure I am only gonna attempt this one time. running really bizarre. Gotta let that car go, make sure they're out of my way. Starting it first. So that was kind of weird. It seemed like uh, I was only getting it into fifth gear, but I kept trying to shift up and it wouldn't shift up. So maybe I started in second and, uh, and I thought I was in first because it definitely, I was in top gear, but I only shifted five times or four times or whatever. Let's see what this thing says. 71 miles an hour. That's definitely the fastest I've ever been on this bike because it felt like my helmet was going to get pulled off of my head. Like it was, <laughs> if my helmet was not strapped on, it, uh, it would not have stayed on my head. Can you see the 71? Let me see if I can figure this stupid app out. Sorry for the crappy uh, quality clip in here, but I'm sitting here editing this video and then I just realized that I forgot to mention at the end that there is a three mile an hour discrepancy between the, uh, the GPS speedometer and uh, how fast I'm actually going, according to my car speedometer. So 
71 miles an hour is actually 74 miles an hour. Oh, I just reset it. It was at 71. That's uh that's about what I expected. Like I said, I never really had the room to get this thing up to uh up to that speed before. But I knew it, I knew she had it in her. Cause this thing is geared way up, you know. This thing wants to scream on the top end. So 71 miles an hour on a uh, 125. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, it's pretty goddamn fast. So like I said before, this is a 1991 RM 125, and uh, yeah, it's not even running right right now. So I might even be able to get a little more out of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, hit the thumbs up, give me a comment, let me know what you think. See you next week.